Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to create a more complex shape using CSS and HTML. Um, this is a long description, but it's pretty important. One of the most popular shapes in the world is the heart shape, and it, in this challenge, you'll create one using pure CSS. But first, you need to understand the before and after pseudo elements. These pseudo elements are used uh, to add something before or after a selected element. In the following example, before pseudo element is used to add a rectangle to the element class of heart. And so you can see um, right here is what they mean. It's before. So um, for the before and after pseudo elements to function properly, they must have a, uh, have a defined content property. So that means here, the content property. This property is usually used to add uh, things like a photo or text to the selected elements when the before and after pseudo elements are used to make uh, shapes that content property is still required, but it's set to an empty string. In the above example, the element with the class of heart has a before pseudo element and that produces a yellow rectangle with a height and width of 50 by 70 pixels respectively. This rectangle has round corners due to its 25% border opacity, uh, border radius, and is uh, positioned absolutely at 5 pixels from the left and 50 pixels above the top element. So what's it saying there? 25% <clears throat> is the border radius. So if we change this to, say, 50 oh, we can't change it here. We'll have to do it over here, for example. But um, let's see. We've got the before and the after, but the border radius, let's say if we made that 100, that's going to make the after turn uh, turn out to be round. Um, so let's do the border radius of 100% here. And you'll see it change to the blue. You see the background effect is blue. And so when we change this to 100%, it makes it so that this is round. That's the border radius, so that's what they're discussing there. Okay, so the goal here is we're going to transform the element on the screen to a heart. In heart after selector, change the background color to pink and the border radius to 50%. So what we're looking for is heart after, which is this element right here. This is heart, heart after, and this is heart before. So think of it, there's three elements, and we're going to alter the one that's behind right now. And so what we want to do is go to the background color and set the uh, background color to uh, pink. So this is going to turn to pink. And then we want to set, uh, change the border color um, or the border radius to 50%. So we already did that and that's why it's round. Now it's it's good to, the reason that they did this like so that we would change it like that is when we have it blue we can see what's going on. But once we change it to pink, um, from visual perspective it looks as if it's disappeared, as if the shape, um, as if the shape is, if, it, it's as if we just kind of have like a, sh a square with a, with a angle here or a, uh, a curved edge. Um, so the next target, um, the element class heart, so just heart, so that means this one here, whereas it would say before or after for other ones. And uh, we want to um, fill in the transform property. So if we look down here, we see that the transform property is empty. It's this one right here. Um, we want to use rotate, um, and then we're in parentheses, we're going to do 45 degrees, so negative 45 DEG. And see, this is just, what we're doing is just shifting this heart. And then because these pseudo elements are related to this one, it moves the whole object, not just the heart. Um, <clears throat> and it works the same as skew X and skew Y. Uh, finally, in the before heart before selector, we want to set the content to an empty string. So here, you can see, this is the example of where it's working in the past. And so that's just what we want to do here. They already have the element here, so all we have to do is add uh, two properties. And that just fills it in. So the content, you can just, I don't know, what happens if you put letters in there? Okay, cool. So basically, we're just making, yeah, it's we're just adding a string into the CSS, and that gives us this heart shape. And um, stuff like this, this looks a lot like JavaScript to me. I'm not sure if that's exactly what it is, but this is how you start seeing things. And... Um, so if we pass in an empty string, that means that the JavaScript has an element that it can uh, that it can pretend is there. And so if we run the tests, that should pass. Great. Thank you guys for watching. See you in the next video.